What happened to the babies? Where did they go? Why are the containers up here? What? What? There's nothing in. Kaboom. Wow. What an intro. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why you guys even watch me. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, well, we are going to be looking at the baby snakes. Yes, they have finally come out. One actually just came out today. So yeah, you can see this eggshell. It's still wet because I just washed it. The others, they came out about three, two, one. Yeah, like two days ago. So yeah, their, their shells are pretty much washed and they are really, really like dried up so yeah let's take a look at the babies shall we so yeah like i said one was actually a late like a hatcher is that even a word a late coming out he came out like quite late compared to the others he was just really really comfortable in the eggshell for some reason but today he finally came out so i gave them a nice clean because they were all like really like covered in vermiculite so yeah they have finally come out and i am man ball python breeders are probably like dude we do this every day nothing great but hey this is my first time okay so bear with me bear with my excitement because this is so freaking exciting <laughs> so like i said like i mentioned in the egg cutting video if you guys haven't watched it link in the description below now I am not good with morphs, okay? So comment down below, especially for this one, which I'm gonna be showing you in a bit. Like, tell me what morph that one actually is. Now, the female, the mom is a normal, a wild type Penelope, you guys know her. And then the father, the male, he's a banana Mojave Woma Enchi. Well, actually I bought him as a banana Mojave Woma possible Enchi, but then, I think one of these guys, I think this one is that an Anchi, I don't know, I may be wrong, but I think that's the Anchi. So these babies, like this baby over here, has proven out that my male actually carries the Anchi gene. So yeah, without any further ado, I don't want to make this video too long. Let's get into the babies and see what each of them actually looks like. So I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, man, don't even judge me, please. This is the Anchi, right? <laughs> Man, they're so freaking tiny. It's so freaking cute. Look at that. So cool. So, yeah. That's the first one, which is the Enchi, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so here's the next one. My favorite one is still this one, the banana. So beautiful, so freaking beautiful. I've, I've When I first got Penelope back in 2016, I've always wanted a banana ball python because... They're yellow and they're purple and they just go, the color combination just goes so well. And I mean, a banana ball python, it's just, you know, I, back then when I looked at like four or five combo uh, ball pythons and I saw a banana, like a pure single gene banana, I would, I was like, I still fell in love with the banana and not that <laughs> multiple gene one because bananas are just like, freaking beautiful and when i told that to my friend he was like why do you want a single gene snake i'm like because it's freaking beautiful so yeah this is the the second one that i'm gonna be showing you uh this is the don't ask me I, you know what i'm not even going to say what morphs they are because to be honest i really have not much of a clue i did ask around and people told me the morphs like even my girlfriend told me the morphs and i kind of forgot so i'm gonna have to refer to that but yeah i just wanted to show you the the snakes in in person well in video so yeah this is the the second one also a very nice looking snake and then this one i think it's the normal yeah, this one's just like her mother and because this is a banana clutch the others should be female right because the bananas are usually the males if that's how it works yes okay so this is the normal this was yeah penelope when i got her she was about this size very very beautiful i mean you can't go wrong with the normal that's what started the hobby you guys so don't look down on normals. I don't know why a lot of people look down on normals. Like, oh, you only have a normal, get some morphs. Like, come on, man. If it weren't for the normal, you wouldn't be in this hobby. So, show some respect. <laughs> so, this is the, my favorite one out of this clutch. I think it's, some people say it's a banana Mojave. 
and some people say it's a normal banana but i don't freaking care man do i look like i care it's a banana so yeah absolutely gorgeous girl no this is a boy yeah absolutely gorgeous boy <laughs> Man, my first clutch, and I've already got so much variety, so many varieties. So I'm really, really happy about that. Like, seriously, so many varieties on my first clutch. I mean, also partly because the father has four genes. So, yeah, let's see this one. This one is um, stop tangling in each other. Okay, let, let's see this one. This one, although my favorite is that banana, this one I believe is the most unique in this collection. Man, why do they like... Oh, is this the Anchi? Wait, wait. I'm I, I'm so confused, but that's just me. Okay, so we've got three more because we've got seven babies, right? Yeah. Man, what is with you three? Come on. Get away from... No, you're not... I don't want you to go on the grass. Nee, super cute. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't understand why an ant freaking... I don't understand why... Some people just say snakes are disgusting and just... Come on, man. They're so freaking cute as babies. Like, look at that. You're telling me that's not cute? Bruh. Okay. Man, these, these three are just really hugging onto each other. Oh, yeah. They are on damp paper towel. Not damp to a point where you can squeeze out water. It's damp to the point where... It's something like how I've packed tarantulas, the dampness. It's not dry and it's not to say like soaked man you guys are this one is just so cute yeah so we are now actually waiting for them to go through their first uh shed because these baby ball pythons after they hatch they will go through one shed and then you can start to feed them so stay tuned for a feeding video on them man i don't think i'm gonna be like separating these guys they're so yeah, there we go. No, no. Why are you guys like... <laughs> there we go. So, this one is the I don't know. Don't... <laughs> I gotta learn morphs a lot. So, here we go. That's a very, very nice man. This one is so active. Like, what are you even doing, bro? What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, so freaking small and cute. Man, you two are just like hugging each other, huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? I can't even remember which was the, the one that hatched out today. The one that crawled out today. So look at this. Wow. Wow. Now I know there are going to be probably people bashing me in the comments. Hey, you're breeding ball pythons and you don't even know how to morphs and all. But uh, whatever. Haters. Gonna hate right for every single thing. But yeah. Anyways, this is the... <laughs> This is the most unique out of the clutch. This is my second favorite after that one. Man. But look at that. I think this one is way more beautiful. But they're all beautiful. Look at this one. So shy. But let me know what this one is. So people have already answered my question as to like what those ones are pretty accurately. But they're still guessing on this one. Like, is there a banana Mojave Enchi, a banana Mojave, or it has Womine? I don't know. So, yeah, very, very beautiful and super cute and super shy. Look at that. So, yeah, guys, just wanted to show you the babies when they finally come out. And I know the cutting the eggs, it's a little bit of a controversial subject, but... A lot of people do it, a lot don't. I decided to do it because it's my first clutch and I want like full survival rate. So that is what I did. Look at that. Hello. So yeah guys, that'll be it for this video. Just wanted to show you them. And yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I think it was a pretty successful clutch. I mean, for, for the first ever clutch in my collection, I've never bred ball pythons before. I've never seen a ball python hatch before. I've never seen, like, like freshly hatched ball pythons. When I got Penelope and my others, they were after the first shed. So I've never seen baby ball pythons at this stage in my entire life. So this is something new to me and very, very exciting because I managed to actually produce these guys, like, on my first clutch. And look at that. It's such a colorful clutch, like like a breather that 
is over here. He bred, I have no idea what combo, combo but a lot came out normals. <laughs> normals. And my first clutch. Let me know what you guys think about my first clutch. I think, personally, I think Penelope and the male did a very, very good job on this clutch. So happy and I cannot wait for these two and this one especially to grow big and we can see what they look like. I'll give you guys updates on like every now and then so you guys will know, can keep updated on their growth. I'm not going to be selling any of them because they are my first clutch so I'm going to be keeping all of them. So yeah guys, let me know in the comments what you think. I'm so happy. This is like the most exciting day in my life. So, I mean, not the most, but it's a very, very exciting day in my life. And I'm going to be keeping these as souvenirs because <laughs> they're so cool. <laughs> Man. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Stay safe. And as always, peace.